No Film School's coverage of NAB 2017 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Vimeo, the new home for 360 video. Learn more at vimeo.com slash 360. My Road Reel, presented by Road Microphones. Back with more categories, more chances to win, and over $500,000 worth of prizes. Hey, this is Charles from No Film School here at NAB Show 2017. I'm here with Michael from Illuminati Instruments, and we're going to be talking about their new wireless light and color meter. Michael, thank you for joining us. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. So, what's going on with this guy? So what we've got is the world's first Bluetooth wireless light and color meter. Let's see if you can see that. Every time you get a little yellow flash, it's taking an ambient reading. And like a usual uh, standard uh, light meter, you can set uh, the F number in the ISO. Uh, and it gives you the shutter speed, or it can give you the F number. But while it's doing that, it's not just taking uh, exposure readings, it's measuring the color temperature of your ambient. And it even gives you the chromaticity, so that lets you see if you have a magenta green shift and helps you correct uh, weird lights like, like a fluorescence or LEDs. So I'm getting readings on my watch, and I can even ask it to trigger a measurement. So I can have both hands free, I can be taking color readings, I can be taking light readings, and if you shoot stills, we have a mode where it'll meter flash as well. So we'll set that. The LEDs glow a faint blue, and you give it a quick flash of light. And it says all right there, that's going to be an F1 setting for that. And we can give it a quick flash again. So it's telling us that the light that I just flashed was 95% of the ambient. And it's also measuring the, the ambient and the strobe color temperature. So when you look at the chromaticity, you see that my simulated strobe is very white compared to our relatively yellow ambient. So what this means is if you were to shoot with these lights, you'd have a center region that is very white and then a whole yellow circle, and you can't fix that in Photoshop. So what this, this does is help uh, amateurs especially figure out that they've got a light reading or they've got a, a lighting problem, and if they put filters on it, once the two dots sit on top of each other, you've got your lighting correct and you can shoot without any color cast. I notice you've got a quarter 20 mounting yep. point there on the bottom. Yep. Uh, is there only the one? Are all sides equal? Does it matter which way's up? All, all sides are not equal. So on uh, one corner, we've got the power button and measuring button. On the next corner, we have some little holes for uh, putting a cord through so you can hang it around a model's neck, right, or attach it with a, a string somewhere. We've got a, a jack for a sync cord, so if you want to do a corded or uncorded uh, strobe, you can do that. On the bottom is a quarter 20 mount for a tripod or a boom arm. We've got a big magnet on the back, and this is great. We've got a whole kind of range of features. Um, this is a little uh, kickstand that lets you adjust the angle of the meter. It also lets you hold it in your hand, right, or just kind of keep it with you for a second. Um, with the magnet, you can clip it to a shirt, right, to a model, or you know, on a backpack, right. So you can kind of have it with you, convenient, and wherever you need it to be. Our plan is to ship them in August. Uh, we're actually running a Kickstarter right now for uh, pre you know, so people can pre-order. Um, well, what's the pre-order price? Uh, the pre-order price is 200 bucks, and the retail price will be 300. This is really good for both photography and video. And what, you know, the biggest thing that we're having uh, to break through is people have gotten used to shooting without a meter. It's like, oh, I can use the histograms, I can just let the camera do the auto white balance. And that's true if you're shooting an ordinary picture. But what happens when you start getting a little more uh, serious and a little more professional, and you want to have really good control over the light, and the camera doesn't know what you want anymore. So you have to take control and you have to tell it. So at that point, you have to have the information uh, that the camera doesn't to be able to get the right exposures, and that's where you really need a meter. Uh, as far as uh, power, it runs on two easy-to-replace AAA batteries. We looked at it and we said, we want something you don't have to worry about recharging or weird shapes. You know, uh, the, the device is actually really uh, reliable and rugged. The dome is spring-loaded so that if you step on it, uh, you don't crush it, you don't break it, right? It goes in a pocket really nicely uh, and it pops up so you can either have the up dome position or the flat position for metering uh, flat objects. Well, Michael, I gotta say, I'm very impressed. I'm really excited to see one in the field. Thank you so much for taking the time with Great. us. Thank you.